Hello, everybody. Hello, Slicer Dicers. Let me get the, uh, the chat em ups up here so I can see what y'all are saying. It's still not up yet on my screen. There we go. Hit refresh so I can see it on my, uh, my computer screen here. Got everything muted. Hello, Jason. Hello, everybody. It's on here. We got 10 on here. I did not announce this morning that I was going live, but uh, guys, just kind of assume I'm I'm always going live on Sunday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern time, unless I say otherwise. Uh, hey, Rich. Hey, BD. Good to see y'all. Let's hang out here and uh, chat about nonsense for a minute. Um, I don't have a huge ton of stuff to talk about. Some giveaway updates and things like that for the 10,000 sub giveaway. And thank you guys again very much for participating in the uh, National Knife Day giveaway yesterday that Smoky Mountain Knife Works was kind enough to sponsor and send me lots of cool stuff. Uh, packaging all that up on the morrow and getting it sent out. I've got all but two people have have replied with their addresses. I gave away six. One, I bet will be on here tonight. I'm pretty sure I have his address anyway. He was a regular commenter here. And then um, I think he bought something for me once. And then uh, the other one, I don't know. Uh, if, if that one doesn't come through and I don't get the address, we'll uh, draw it next week on Bruising and Blades and we, somebody else will win a package instead. Yeah, we're up to 20 now. Um, thank you guys for coming out and hanging out. I don't have a whole lot to talk about. Uh, I did do a video, which, wow, you guys really watched that video a lot. I was very surprised. Uh, from Amplify EDC, they sent me these uh, two of these really cool Slicey Dicey branded Openels in the purple, because purple's, you know, my color. I thought that these are really cool. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get a couple more of these for the 10,000 sub giveaway. And uh, maybe if it works out, maybe I'll be... Um, Maybe I'll be selling these. I don't know because I am gonna be launch when I hit t once I hit ten thousand subscribers. I'm gonna be launching a little kind of store. Um, once you hit ten thousand subs, you're allowed to embed links to like down. I'm pointing at my screen. You guys don't know down below, down here, down below the the video. Um, you want to get an idea of what that looks like? Probably a lot of you subscribe to Cedric and Ada. He has the same kind of thing um, at, with all kinds of. Uh, I've already got them all in the system there for on Teespring for t-shirts and hoodies and all that kind of stuff. But uh, also, I'm going to try and figure out a way to... I think I'm, I really want to sell these. Would you guys be interested in the little... In the uh, open L's in the purple? They'd be number sevens because it's my favorite. So, yeah. Uh, pretty... Uh, they're, they're very inexpensive. They just look cool. So, um, and, uh, and then also, they sent me this. These are cool. Uh, just it's not this is a uh, atom scales um they're not going to stay on here forever i'll put the carbon ones back on but uh it looks cool it's nice to have out for videos and then you guys uh completely freaked out about these these i don't have a neutron at the moment these are for the trm neutron these uh trout looking scales you guys really wigged out about that so um yeah the they do amazing stuff over there amplify edc go check them out there's a video about it. They do these fake wood things too. I'm gonna send my Civivi, um, uh, yep, McKenna off to get to get this done to it because I think those are cool. So, yeah. So where is my McKenna? It's over here. Can I reach it? Yeah. I don't know. I just kind of think the Damascus blade with these wood-looking scales is gonna look. Uh, that's gonna look pretty great. So I'm going to, I'm going to send it off and have him do that. So everybody loves the, the fish scales. I, I'm not a fisherman. Maybe that's why I don't like them, but everybody seems to love them and it's cool that they can do it. They can do basically anything. So, um, go back here. Your wife's watching. She loves purple. Says we need a slicey dicey open out. All right. Well, I, I'm, I'm almost certain I'm going to, we're going to figure out some way with Amplify EDC, maybe You'll have to buy them from their website, and I just get a cut or something like that. But uh, I definitely want to do it. I gave one to my wife. That's the, these are the only knives my wife likes and that she will use our open else. She really likes them. We have a couple in the kitchen, some big ones, and now she's got one of these in her little craft drawer. But uh, let's open the beer today. I'll pour it forward. I know it's just going easy, going simple tonight. Just a Stella. It's been hot out lately, and, man, when it's hot out, that's the beer I always want. It's just a plain old Stella. Um, and you got the bug and the open owl. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And open houses are so cheap too. This was cool about them, Sergeant Kong. It's like you can just have a bunch of them. My God, I must have. I don't know how many open houses I have. It's one of those. They're just so cheap that when I see a cool color, and I'm shopping for some some other knife anyway, I just grab one. It's it, they're because they're like twelve bucks or whatever. They're depending on the size and stuff you get. 41 degrees on Friday morning here in New England. Wow. Yeah, it was cool Friday morning. I'm in upstate New York, so I'm not that far away. It was pretty cool then, but today it's been hot again. I think it was 81. It wasn't that bad, but. You should try New Belgium's Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPA. I have had that. That's a boozy, boozy, boozy beer. I do need a Mora. I don't know why I don't have a Mora. I have no idea. I am going to, I'm thinking about. I'm going to talk to some of my suppliers and some of the companies that I know and see if I can get some loaners. And I might do, not soon, but not too far away, like maybe late September, October, I might do like a week of fixed blades because I don't do those hardly at all. So I want to learn more about that. I've got my White River knucklehead, which I just realized is not in the room. So that sucks. But, uh, um, yeah, I've got a, and I've I got a couple of SOGs that are just kind of suck, but, um, yeah, I, I do need to do more with fixed blades. So I might do a week of fixed blades at some point, like I did that week or two weeks of uh, budget stuff. Um, it'll be fun. I'll, I'll be learning along with you. Hey, Ocon, good to see you. I hope Libya shows up because he won something. Mikey Rass is Ted in a... Oh, I had to go back and look at what you were referring to. We had an artisan that developed some play. They, they just send it back to wherever you got it. They'll take care of it. Artisan's a pretty good company. I am going to be getting on the uh, related to that some, uh, is it CRJB or CJRB? Oh, my God, I can't figure. I, I, I'm so bad with remembering names. They're a new budget brand. They're sending me a few, and the, some of those will be in the 10,000 sub giveaway, too. So, um, uh. I don't know how many they're sending me, but I'll probably keep one or two around for reviews and future videos and send a send the rest of them on to you guys. So um, uh, we'll have a few of those. Because I, I think that by the time my sub hits, uh, they'll be out and about in dealers and everything. But this is also a 10,000 sub giveaway knife. The red uh, USA Made Blade exclusive Southern Grind Spider Monkey. Uh, I think this is going to be in the 10,000 sub giveaway from Real Steel. I haven't gotten clearance from them yet, but usually when they send me stuff, they don't want it back. So I will uh, I will put that in there. This is the Pelican. Just did a review on, so. Um, you're only four hours from SMKW. I'd swing by and take a visit. I was really upset I couldn't get down there this weekend. I I, I didn't think there would be a bruise and blaze tonight because I thought I'd be on my way back from there. But uh, life didn't work out, so I couldn't get down there. CJRB, yes. That's what it is. I knew it was one of those. But, um, yeah, they have some really cool-looking stuff. I, I held them at, I played with them at Blade Show, and they're nice, too. They're really good, just budget knives. And, yeah, they'll be cool. Yeah, I know, there's so much color tonight. It's so weird. I didn't do that on purpose, even, so... Yeah, there's only one just total Brian Speck knife, because even the McKenna is Damascus, so... I don't normally like Damascus, but I like it on that little blade. I think it looks cool. Um, the Centros, I don't know I don't know the models at all, so I don't know which one you're talking about. I just, I just like some of the CJRBs, but I don't really know... I don't, I don't remember model names or anything. Uh, it's a knife style. Great username, by the way. Uh, I've been carrying the Spider Copera 3 lightweight a lot recently. I've noticed it's BD1 steel is just not that good. What's your opinion? I It's been fine for me. I'm not a heavy, heavy, heavy user. I'm mostly cutting cardboard and stuff like that, but, uh, it's been fine for me. I, I have, and I've carried it a whole lot. You, you pre-order the Centros. Where can you pre-order from? I'm just curious, Steve. I'm getting mine straight from them, but I'm curious as to where you can where you can get those pre-order already. I haven't seen them anywhere. I've been looking around. Um, you own slot of knives. I assume you mean to say I own a lot of knives. Yeah, I have to. It's my it's my job, Mark. <laughs> Mark Grant is saying that. Yeah, it's kind of my job. So 
it's a good excuse. I don't own a lot of stuff that I want to, though. I, I've sold off a lot of stuff that I like to get stuff that I know the viewers would like. Does that make any sense? It's a not anything worth complaining about, but yeah, I do sell a lot of stuff that I really like um, in order to get stuff for that you guys will want to see. Did you decide to keep the Eclipse yet or not? I don't think I'm going to keep this one, but um, I am... I'm going to, I think I'm going to get one, but probably not this one. I'm probably going to wait till the black is in stock again. Um, and not if this expensive, I don't want to just, I could just go dye the scales black. That would be the easiest way to do it. But, um, and if this expensive, I don't like altering it. So, um, I think I'll, uh, I'll just wait till the black ones are back in stock and maybe even wait till there's another blade shape just cause I already have a Spanto. Cause this is this one. I my hinder half track I'm definitely keeping for a very long time and ever so I already have a spanto so I was kind of thinking maybe if another blade shape comes out I'll grab one but I do really like it um but the green's just not for me um Eric from Texas says there's any scales you want to get for your knives I I don't usually mod stuff a whole lot but um I uh I want to get I mean it's not really a mod because they're from the factory. I want to get the contoured titanium scales for the Atom. I don't know why, it's just going to make it heavy, but <laughs> but I already have the flat carbon, and so I don't want to get the contoured carbon because it's still just carbon, so to do something different, I might get the tie ones for that, get them anodized, some kind of color or something. Um, did you see the carbon fiber spider monkeys with the anode lighters that USA made blade? I did, and I have a carbon spider monkey so uh it is not unlikely that i'm when i send this back to usa may blade i may send this along with it and get these changed to bronze because they look super cool so it is not unlikely that that will happen so yeah this is the spider monkey i'm giving to you guys this one is mine um yeah love the purple open yeah we just talked about that i don't know if you're on i think uh i'm gonna get a couple i'm definitely gonna get a couple of them for the giveaway um, and, uh, that may be something I'm selling on the channel. So I like open L's. It's got my logo. It's purple. It matches. It'll be cool. Um, I think I missed some comments here, blah, blah. Where is custom from Nova blades? I don't know who that is. That does not ring. That does not ring a bell. Hey, daddy. Oh, how's it going, man? Any belligerent drunks in here? Not yet. We're just getting started, Daddy. It's just you. It's just you. <laughs> Sergeant Kong, that was an awesome comment, but uh, they they blocked it on the, the YouTubes. And um, yeah, I'm going to leave it blocked, but great comment. I know you tried to make it PG, <laughs> but you missed. You missed by that much. Um, Yeah, the bronze looks sick. Their bronze anno just looks so cool. Oh, you've got the blue liners one? Oh, yeah, Keith, uh, Keith you've got one that's anno too, right? Isn't your, isn't your uh, spider monkey anode? I don't remember. Waiting on the Sh Schwartz Perpetua drop coming on the 27th. Yeah, I might, I might have to get another one of those. Uh, I had one of the first ones and I sold it, but I know there's going to be more options and colors and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. Slicey, did you enter any of those SMKW giveaways on Instagram? You know what? That's, that's kind of a funny question, Junior V. Um, I, I had said, no, I'm not going to enter them because I have, I, I get stuff because of the channel and stuff. I'm not going to enter and take a chance away from anybody, but a couple of them were, were too good to resist. And I did enter, I think I entered three. I think that's fair, right? I only entered three, and um, and they're super cool. I know they're not going to give me anything just because it's me, but um, I, I just, yeah, I was not going to. I was going to abstain, and then um, I just uh, at the at like like this morning or like early this morning, like six or seven in the morning, I was like, ah, no, I'm going to enter a few of them. Um. Yeah, I entered the gold class bug out one for sure because I would never buy one of those. Um, but I won one, and I'd probably still wind up selling it, but I'd keep it around for a while. Um, and I was passing on to you guys for a good deal. Uh, so it's win win for everybody, honestly. 
Yeah, I know a lot of you guys tag me in them, and that's that's totally cool. I, I, any any giveaways, guys, uh, that you need to tag somebody in, don't it tag me. It's fine. I don't care. Um, doesn't bother me one little bit. So I have my phone settings so that it doesn't buzz me if someone tags me in a post. So um, it doesn't bother me. So would real oil work for knife oil in a pinch? Uh, Mikey, actually, I, I've heard lots of people swear by that. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I've never used it on a knife, but I know lots of people swear by it and say that it's the best stuff to use. So, um, yes, is the short answer. Um, uh, when I used to reveal the steel wheel apostate, yeah, that new mini apostate was pretty cool. I did kind of like that. Oh, thanks, Chris Rayner, for the, the donation. I keep, I keep forgetting, yes, the super chat is open. If anybody wants to kick in a few shekels, it's cool. So, um, what were your thoughts on that Schwartz from Drop Broski? I, I loved it. I did a review of it. I really liked it. It was a, it was a pretty cool knife. Um, uh, they had an issue on the finish with them. I kept having to clean uh, um, some, like, corrosion-y stuff off from it. Uh, but it always came right off super easy. Uh, other than that, I don't think I had any issues with it. The The first run the pocket clips were really flimsy, but then uh, they just sent us new ones. So that was fine. Um so the new one won't have that, and I hear they're going to be in colors and a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, I would I would like to get one. Uh, I might get a blue one if it's available. I think I might like a blue, a blue perpetual. I do m really miss that knife. I sold it, and I I really miss not having it around. So I may have to go back. Oh, is it just green or gray? Well, let's get a gray one again then. Uh, what's your favorite type of steel? Um. Phil TOS. I get this asked, I get this to me all the time. Just for bumping around, uh, S35VN. It's easy to easy enough to sharpen, but holds an edge super well, doesn't corrode, all that stuff. Uh S35VN just for general daily use, but I will not uh I will not shy away from a 20 CB or an M390 or something like that or an M4. Yeah, entries closed at noon today and then they they said they were gonna draw all I heard was later this week. I don't know what time it is. Uh, Mr. Slicey, what do you think the top three mass drop knives of all time? Eric from Texas asks. Well, I, I think I own... Uh, I own exactly three. I have one prototype, which would be in the running. So I guess I can just grab the three that I have, right? That'd be the easiest way to answer the question, because if I still have them, then... Um, then obviously they're my favorites, so let's let's just do this. I'll just grab them because I I have my knife case open next to me. I'm gonna have to roll away for a moment, but close some knives up so I don't cut myself because I am an uncoordinated jackass. All right, one, two, three. Oh, that was a big stretch. So the three that I own are the Keen Ray Laconico design, which is really, really great. Uh, the Ferrum Forge Gent, and the Ferrum Forge Protect Mordax. So, I guess I would say those are my top three because those are the only three that I have. Um, I, I, there were some other, I, I didn't care for the crux, the Flipper tab just drove me nuts on that. Um, that one I didn't like that much. I know everybody else loves it. I'm sure it's great. But for me, I just didn't really enjoy it. Um, uh, the Thresher. I don't know if I ever held the Thresher. I'm sure I did, but I don't I don't remember. Um, and uh, then also now I've got... Uh, this is just the prototype, and I know they're going to make one fairly major change before it comes out. This Trizula is pretty darn nice. Acronym name, again, I'm terrible at acronym names. I don't remember what the whole name of it is, but this thing's been great. I, I really do enjoy this. Uh, been using it a whole lot. Um, and um, and like I said, the Perpetua I sold, and I really wish that I hadn't. So, um, yeah, this is one of the prototype more to axis. It's, it's going to go away soon, but it's not going away permanently. It's just getting swapped for a production one. 
Uh, do you ever get stuff just because you don't have that steel? That's why I'm getting the perpetual Jason Brackness. Yes, I do. Uh, but I have a good excuse because I'm a reviewer. So I want to, I want to experience that steel. Uh, I don't know what your deal is, Jason, but you're just, uh, maybe you're just an addict. <laughs> but I have an excuse to do stupid things like that. Um, Mikey Rass says, see that, that Terzula doesn't do anything for me. No, it doesn't do anything for me visually either when I saw it in pictures, but uh, once they sent it, I just really, really, really liked using it. At the end of the day, that's what it is. I just, I really enjoy using it. And best pocket clip ever. This is definitely my all-time favorite pocket clip. Even though it's not deep carry or anything, it's just, it's milled titanium, but it Acts like a spring clip. Love it, love it, love it, love that pocket clip. Um, I would, I would definitely copy that unabashedly if I was designing my own knife, for sure. You got a cold steel Tanto, and it's growing on me. Says uh, Jay Strumbo. Yeah, Tantos. I, I don't, I don't seek them out. I, but I don't hate them, and they are somewhat, they are somewhat useful. I do have to say. Oh, we got 56 on now. I haven't been, haven't been watching that at all. <clears throat> these, these live streams might as well be Bladed Addicts Anonymous meetings, Junior V says. Yes. And maybe I, maybe I, God, I should have named it that. I don't know. Bruise and Blades is pretty catchy, but Blade Addicts Anonymous might be good too. Hi, Junior V. Isn't that what you're supposed to say at those? Who am I kidding? I know what you're supposed to say at those. I've been to those before. Um, <clears throat> I just did drink, but fine. I will again. Hi, my name is Keith. <laughs> I'm a knife. Hi, Keith. SMKW didn't have the Kapara when you were there. Yeah, it's, it's, it popped out a few places, but I think it's already gone again. But, um, I don't know about that, uh, the CQI thing. Like I said, the action on mine is great. It's off center quite a bit, but other, the, act, the action's great. I just haven't gotten off my ass to send it back to Spyderco and have them, have them fix it. I know they would. I know they'd center it up and all that stuff, but I just need to get off my ass and send it to them. Oh, you got one, Keith? Oh, yeah, I saw that on your Instagram today. I meant to ask you about it. Still dig that wood gent. Yeah, and like I said, this is not a stock configuration. It's um, uh, the satin blade with the wood handles. You're supposed to have the stone wash, but I did a scale swap with somebody, so... I very much appreciate that. I think it looks super ass classy. I don't know why they do the stone wash blade with the fancy scales. I think it should be the other way around. It should be the satin blade with the fancy scales. But that's not how they do it. So <clears throat> Hey Zach, how's it going, man? It's good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh nice. Oh yeah, this is the the more I have two pro tax or two pro taxes. What what the hell did I just do there? I also got the old SBR. I still love this. My eyes have still been terrible. So um, uh, yesterday I did not leave the house at all, and that's uh, I, I have I have to carry this because I'm doing the seven days one knife challenge and I'm being loyal to it and I've been carrying this every day but I also did have this in my pocket yesterday because when I'm around the house I just like the SBR because I'm not allowed to carry it outside the house because I'm going to get arrested if I do so uh, are you a fan of honey badger knives if so do you have a favorite Chris Rainer asked actually it's very funny you asked that because I have not cleaned up since I recorded the video of all my uh, my Chinese knife collection yeah I have two of them both the medium size. I wish I'd have gotten one large. But I got the D2 and the the old original um, 8CR. I like the D2 one better. It's not just because... And it's odd for me to say that because normally I like finger toils better. But the finger toil on this is a bit a bit sharp and scary. I mean, look at that. If, if you ever accidentally... Your hand slides forward, that's nasty. Um... And I just like the the D2 is it's a newer generation. The action's even a little bit better. They both have great action, but it's even better. And I think it's just because it's newer and they they're learning their ways more. And I just like the look of it. And this is the first the launch edition ones. They have the red backspacer and stuff. It's really really cool. Um, I just really really like it. 
The, the honey badgers are just cool as shit. There's just no other way around it. Hey, Zach, more collection videos. Yeah, Zach, didn't we give you the memo, the memo when you became a knife YouTuber that on National Knife Day week you're supposed to just do almost nothing but collection videos? Did you not get that memo? What is wrong with you? Check your inbox. That's what we, uh, and that's just what we all do. I don't, and, and no one, like, there was, there was, there was no coordinated effort. It's just become what we all do on National Knife Week. Now, National Knife Day week is we just all do collection videos, which is fun. It's, uh, it's good. I, I, th I think the peoples like it and it's fun to do. And honestly, oh, what's even better is, uh, it's easy for us. So, uh, it's very easy. You did your 940 collection. Okay, we'll do more. Do more. I need another 940, Zach. We have to figure that out somehow. We have to figure that out. Zach's my benchmate dealer. So he's, he's the one that uh, keeps my benchmate addiction going. I only have two benchmates right now. That's pathetic. That needs to get fixed, Zach. That needs to get fixed. I've only have two. I've just got my super freak and a uh, bug out. Oh, you posted your obligatory Spider-Co collection pick on Instagram? Yep. Yeah. 940 versus bug out. The prices are so different. That would be really hard to do, Eric, from Texas. Um, uh, Spider-Co was the only brand I have enough of that I could do one video about, and I had to add the birds in even for that. I, I'm pretty brand agnostic, so I have to be, so... I mostly just have twos and threes and fours from most brands, but Spider Co. Once I added in the birds, I think I had a dozen. So, um, Jamie loves knives. Said you shouldn't have gotten rid of your anthem. I completely concur with you, Jamie loves knives. But I had to. It was uh, that was a bill that needed to get paid too sweet. So that was kind of instant money. Um, so I had to. I had to do it. Did not want to at all. That is for sure. I saw Benchmade 9600. I don't know, even know what that one is. I posted a knife collection pick, all my safe queens. Oh, I didn't know you even had safe queens, Keith. I just always thought you were you were carrying around, tearing up people's packages. Um, yeah, that's what that's what when when you know you gotta get a bill paid or something, that's the most most expensive knives are the ones that are the most vulnerable in the collection. So the ones I love the most are the ones that are the most likely to get sold. Cause I know I could just get rid of them. Fam is fam. Will you get another anthem? Bids on the sky. I, I don't think I will seek out to purchase another anthem, but I think if one came up in a trade or something like that, um, I, I would probably do it. Um, but I don't, I don't know if I would, uh, if I would purchase one. If somebody had a perfect anthem and it was the knife that I wasn't really offering for sale, and they just said, "Hey, would you trade an anthem for that?" I would get it. I really like the knife; it's a great knife. But um, uh, I don't think it's the best thing that Benchmade's ever made. It's really damn good, but um, I, I think the Super Freak's the best thing they've ever made. So I just still like the Super Freak a whole lot. And um, and I want another 940 more. I think if I had to debate between uh, replacing a 940 or an Anthem, even if they were equal cost, I would probably get another 940. Uh, you got the trout scales. I don't have anything to put the trout scales on. I, they, these are very specifically for a uh, TRM Neutron, and I auctioned my Neutron off for charity, so um, I don't have anything to put them on. Uh, but, And I don't fish, so honestly, I wouldn't. Um, but you guys seem to love them. Uh, the 8010 is flat ground now. What's up with that? Michael McCormick asks. I don't know what's up with that. I assume it's because it's cheaper, but um, yeah, that does kind of suck. Um, my safe queen is a lawman in Coyote Brown, just in case something happens to my dark earth lawman, XHP, of course. Yeah, I've got a black on black on black, uh, lawman, and I will never get rid of it because it's my only cold steel I have left with the XHP. Marcus Lampy asks, hey, Slicey, is any of your stand up on the internet anywhere? I've been trying to find someone to go to Google, uh, or Google YouTube search, uh, Brian with a Y, Brian Ball stand up, and you will find it. Only watch the new one, though. Don't watch the old ones, because I was terrible back then. 
you'll see there's a year's gap between, <laughs> like multi-year multi gaps between my most recent one and the second most recent one. Um, <clears throat> I don't push it around a whole lot because people steal jokes. So it's up there, but it's, uh, I don't, I don't like people stealing my jokes. So um, I'll take the trout scales. What do you want for them? Keith, I would, I, I probably am allowed to sell them to you, but uh, I only have one. I've got the other side, the other side's fake wood. So, yeah. Now they just sent them to me as production samples just to show what they can do. Um, because I may be doing some stuff with them, so, um. But today at my gun and knife show, I saw a Benchmade Anthem, and it was regular titanium finish instead of bronze finish. But yeah, it's probably fake. Yep. Lots of fakes at gun shows. The, everybody loves the trout scale. I guess it's because I don't fish, so... You know why I don't fish? It's not a moral issue or anything like that. It's it's not a, a lack of skill. It's because every time I go to I go to uh, I go to fish, I wind up too drunk to fish. So uh, that's that's kind of what happens. I just get bored and I just start drinking beer, and, and I'm just and then I'm just drunk alongside a river, or drunk in a boat. <laughs> so that's that's why. Um. What are your most fall shutty knives under 300? Oh, my 0562 tie is a guillotine, and that's barely under 300, But because it, it's one of my most well-used knives, too, so that's probably why. But the SOCOM Elite, somebody just said, yeah, the SOCOM Elite is, I don't have one, and I really want one, but yeah, that thing is, uh, that's a guillotine for sure. Any opinion on the Grimsmo Norseman? Um, it is the uh, smoothest action, hideous thing I've ever touched. I think they're, I think they're just absolutely hideous, but but the the action on them is just amazing, and and the build is they're they're beautifully beautifully made. It's just not my thing. Um, <clears throat> had to start dinner. What's for dinner, Zach? We have the Greek Fest right across the street. Actually. If you listen closely, you can hear Greek music right now. It's literally across the street from the house. And so I had Greek food for dinner. I had, what do they call it? Remember, it's similar to Laconico, because that's what I thought of. Luke... Lakunako or something like that. Some kind of sausage. It was really, really good. But, um... What's the, Matt, P.S. Brian, what's the best karambit? I have no idea. I've never owned a karambit. Um, Big Red, how's it going, man? It's good to see you. Good to see you, good to see you. What's the inside scoop on the next Mordax release, Brian? Uh, it's going to be, I, I know that once they get everything shipped out, then they always do the same thing, and they add up how many they have left, and they put those up for sale. And I know they're going. they're letting me trade mine in to get a production one, so... They must have a few, so I would keep an eye out. I bet they're going to do a few that aren't pre-ordered. They're just going to sell off what they have left, so keep an eye out on that. Um, <clears throat> pizza and salad combo here. That's not bad. I had a no pineapple in my honor. Thank you. I've had, I went actually, I, I had a guilty pleasure the other night. I was, I was right near there anywhere. I had to go to the smoke shop for my stupid vape thing. And uh, it's right near Little Caesars. And I really like Little Caesars deep dish meat, the meat combo pizza. I just really do. It's it's good. I, it's not pizza, but it's good. And I uh, I actually, um, you can do it now. You order it on the app, and then you just go in and pick. You don't have to speak to anybody. You just walk in, and you punch in a code, and it gives you your pizza, and it's freaking awesome. But uh, I had Little Caesars the other night, and I got to admit, I, I like me some Little Caesars. Um, do you know if anything's going to change in the next run of Mordax's? I have no idea about the next run or anything. Yep, Crazy Bread is awesome. It's crazy. Ooh, not ranch. No, 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 no. No ranch. I, I don't like blue cheese either, but I'm from New York. You have to, you have to get blue cheese. See, I don't like the Little Caesars Thin Crust. I like the deep, I like the pan, the deep dish, uh, it's all burned around the edges, and they put it in two separate things, so you get you get eight pieces that are all corner pieces. That's freaking genius. I don't care where you come from. All corner pieces? That's awesome. 
<clears throat> I have not heard anything about a you know, Jimbo Large. That would be hard to that would be hard to resist though. That would be a big, silly, stupid knife that would be really hard for me not to buy. A big giant Yojimbo. Bagels with locks being a New Yorker. No, I don't like locks. And I'm not really that big of a bagel guy. I'll go to we have a chain up here called Brugger's Bagels. I'll go there sometimes and get like sausage, egg, and cheese sandwiches and stuff, but not really even a big bagel guy. Salt bagels, I like those. Those are good, but I'm from Brooklyn. They make the best pizza. Yeah, Jamie loves knives. They do. It's it's very good in 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 New York City. But we get it all over upstate New York too. It's it, most all of our pizza places are owned by somebody, some dude from Brooklyn or some dude from Queens or whatever. <clears throat> like I said, Little Caesars Pizza is not pizza. It is not pizza, but it's good. Do you pronounce ranch like ranch or like ranch? I say ranch. How else would you say it? Ranch. Mike Carroll says, I got just got the pair of three lightweight today. How's yours been holding up for all that time? Uh, it went a little off center, but um, not much. <clears throat> just a tiny bit, but other than that, it's been great. Yeah, nice Damascus of Evie. Yeah, it's really, I'd, I'd really like it. And for the small price upgrade, it's cool. And I heard it's 9CR, um, 9CR 18 uh, mostly. I, I, I don't know if that's true or not. I heard it like third hand. I haven't got, actually got any confirmation from Savivi about that, but um, if that's the case, I really like that steel. So, but it's been holding up good. I've been using it and stuff. Nothing heavy duty, obviously. This ain't a heavy duty knife. What are you going to go hack at a tree with something you can only get three and a half fingers on? That's not going to happen. But um, yeah, I am sending it away though to, uh, to amplify EDC to get the scales done like this, this fake wood. I don't even know how they do this. It looks like one of those uh, liquid dip things, if I had to guess how they do it. But it's gonna, it's gonna look like, it's gonna look like this in a week or two, and I think that's gonna be very, very pretty. So, yeah, I think because the nine CR eighteen says CR, and everybody thinks it's the same thing, and it's not. Oh, Junior V, don't look at the RBR rally video. Man, that was terrible. Don't look at that one. Look at the one in the at the Carlson. That's my good one. It's longer, but watch that one. That RBR rally video, actually, I'm in kind of a dispute trying to get them to take that down because <laughs> I don't like it being up. Um, did I have a knife on me back then? You know what? I probably didn't back then. That was a lot. Of, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, that video is terrible. That was, I got, I did that video on five minutes notice. I was, I'd already spoken there. I went to go do like a, uh, a speech about bikes and I already did it. And then the guy that was supposed to follow me didn't show up. So they had me go up and do stand up. And that was, uh, that was terrible. Mike Carroll says, what is your all time favorite knife? Just trying to draw your attention. Um, Right now, I don't know. They, they they change. Right now, probably the probably the TRM Adams, my favorite thing I have right now. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna answer that for right now. So, um, slicey dicey. If you didn't have to worry about knife laws, which Microtech knife would you carry? Well, I haven't paid much attention to their models because I can't carry them, Eric from Texas. But um, I would. I really like the Combat Trudon. I know it's huge, but it still looks cool as hell. So that's kind of, or a UTX-85. I think we're probably one of those two. Um, which was better, your speech or your stand-up? Oh, the speech for absolute sure. I'd only been doing stand-up for like a year at that time. I think that video is like nine years old. I was not good at stand-up yet. Opinion's still the same on the Mordax uh price holding up well they said august the next drop date so being able to pick one up but the price is still a little yeah it's still a little high i still kind of feel like i, th I think it's fair uh for a protech and and uh fair and forge and everybody who's involved so many people are involved in it um it's still holding up well but it is a prototype so i can't even really comment on that you know because i don't really know that's why i want to get a production one that's why i'm trying to switch it out um for a production one, because I want to get more of an actual opinion on how it actually holds up. Hey, Neves Knives, how's it going? 
um, yeah, I just want to get a production one and and actually um, the uh, the blue one. How do you get a production one? Well, they gave me a prototype, and I it was always kind of agreed that I would eventually send it back, and they would send me a production one. So I'm actually going to send it back on the morrow. I'm sending this back, and I have another uh, another prototype of theirs I got to send back to. So. Um, and then they're going to send me back a production Mordax, so. The blue one, I do believe. Still the plain scales. I don't like the milled scales as much, but. Will you be doing another video when you get the production model? After a while, Tyler, I will. I'm going to get a production one and probably play with it for a month or so, and then I'll, I'll do another video on it. Because I, I, I carry this thing all the time. Because it's also it's a prototype, so it, it came beat up. So I didn't care. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this, this has gotten a, a little beat up. So it'll be nice to get the, a brand new fresh spank in production one. Then I'll beat that up for a while. And then I'll do a long-term review that's kind of combination opinions of the prototype and the production one, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, Dan AT says, any decal stickers you can send me to try and decorate knives? I'm actually getting pretty low on the stickers, and I have to send a bunch out tomorrow to um, uh, Patreon supporters and stuff. But, yeah, if, if you're a Patreon supporter, just go to the Patreon page and you get one. Um, I'm running a little low right now. I'm, I'm down to, like, I think I've only got about 20 left or so, if I had to guess from the look of the stack. Um blade handle on it yeah it is it is nice on the mckenna it's a uh isham design he he kind of knows what he's doing um lion knife says how did he slice how do you like the new real steel pelk i really like it i think it's a great knife i just had it out a minute ago i'm gonna include it in the uh in the giveaway for there it is i had it flipped the other way i was looking for black and it's not when it's on the other side so we'll move this one out of the way i guess yeah it's pretty cool i do like it i, I just like the overall feel of it it it's very ergonomic. I was really kind of surprised by that. I didn't really think it looked that way at all, but, um, yeah. Uh, Chris Rayner says, do you sharpen your own knives or use factory service system to use? Um, I'm just getting into using how to learn how to use the Viper Sharp, and it's working pretty good. Uh, I used to always just use the uh, uh, Spyderco Sharp Maker. Always worked great for me. But I'm getting pretty decent with the Viper Sharp now. I need to sit down and do a long ass video about that. But um, I'm getting I'm getting pretty decent at it. Um, but now I've never used a factory sharpening service. I have friends that I've sent stuff to. But um, Mikey Rass says, "Where's the Skaha two you're supposed to send me?" <laughs> well, that doesn't exist. But my Skaha two is right here. But the one that I'm supposed to be sending you does not exist. That's not a real thing that 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 exists anywhere on the planet. So. But my Skaha 2 is there. Somebody says, bring back the gent. Fine, I'll put the I'll put the SBR away, I guess. Um there is no bidding for the Skaha. Thought crossed my mind earlier this week that maybe I should sell it because I have no more videos to make with it. But you know what? I, that I said, nah, forget it. I'm never gonna sell it. I, I just like it too much. I just like it too much. That's one of my only knives I still own that's just for me. Um, do you have the Kaiser Yorkie? If so, you compare it to the Keen. I think, did I do, re I did a review on the Yorkie, but I don't, I was a loner. <clears throat> um, just order the QB Eris because Big Red said it's great. Any thoughts? Well, he's here. Um, but, uh, no, I like QBs. Uh, they're really nice. I need to get more of them. Uh, I have this one. I don't remember what model it is. Something, something 74. Uh, they're really nice. I haven't done a video on this yet. I need to get off my arse and do that. But, uh, great action. Really well done. Their G10 is super nice. I don't know what's up with QBs, but every one I've ever seen, man, it looks good. <laughs> Tyler sends $1,000 for this guy. Now, if you were serious about that, I would sell it. If you were serious about that, you can email me, and I will. I will definitely not be ashamed to take the profits from that. By any any stretch, of that a thousand dollars would uh, would cure all my um, all my sadness of it being gone. K 
KU074, yeah, that's it. I can never remember. I just why you just do names? Why you gotta do numbers? I want that Protect so bad. Now, yeah, they are really nice. It's it's technically a Ferrum Forge that's just made by Protech, but yeah. Everything, you're right, Jay Strongbow, everyone has a price. Everything in my life is for sale except my wife, my kids, and my cats and my dog. But everything else, everything else in my life has a price. It may be a very high price, but it's got a price. Is that, ele that the Elementum in Rosewood? No, it's the Gent. I have an Elementum in Rosewood, but um, that is not. How much for the wife? Just kidding. No, she's. You you don't want to mess with her, Alex. That would not win. And not in well for you. <clears throat> what kind of dogs do you have? Um, right now, knees nice. We just have a uh, little um, little old lady poodle, uh, poodle affin pincher mix. Uh, she's about twenty pounds. Pretty small little dog, and um, she's got one eye. She was a rescue. Uh, she was a bait dog. Um when and then uh, some dog fighting ring got busted up so, i don't know we don't know exactly what happened but they theorized she was a bait dog and uh she's a good little girl but she's getting old she's like 12 or 13 and but i had a uh i had a um australian cattle dog for many many years and unfortunately uh she passed away so um what beer am I drinking tonight? Going super simple tonight. Just Stella Artois. That's kind of my my go-to when I just want plain old beer. What did everyone carry today? Mine was, I'm sticking with the, the Instagram thing that's seven days, same knife. I still have the Hinderer. Uh, the Eclipse 3-inch. It's been, it's, it has not been a chore to carry this for for seven days. I think I'm done tomorrow. Yeah, I think today was day number six. Um, what's your opinion on the Gavco drop thresher? I never uh, held one that I recall. If I did, I did a video on it, but it doesn't, it's not ringing a bell, so. Day seven with your SMKW 940. That's a fancy pants 940. I don't know why they coated the blade, though. Smock and T24. Oh, I saw you talking earlier, Okan, about your smock. I don't know. The smock just didn't really do it for me. I finally got to play one at Blade Show, and I was like, eh, it's all right, I guess. Everybody has different tastes. I guess it's just I had waited so long, I was expecting it to be, like, amazing. That hinder is your new favorite knife you have. Well, it, unfortunately, it's just a loner. Um, it's, it's going back, um, I think, because uh, I, I want a black one. And uh, I want to see what the different blade shapes are. So uh, I'm, I may wait for them to do like the slicer grind or something on it. Then I'll get one. My hinderer. This is my hinderer. It's a full titanium half track. That's This is mine. This is never going nowhere. Unless I'm super broke. <clears throat> Uh, Eric from Texas says, uh, is the TRM a fun carry? I'm afraid TRMs will bore me. It looks like an amazing tool. Any fissure factor to it? Yes, they, they do. They break in really well. And they're they're fun to have around. They, they do break in well, and they snap out great. And, yeah, especially the Atom. I just really... They got it all figured out with the Atom. And I, I love this thing. And it's just fun to cut stuff, because it cuts... It just slices so well. Um, <laughs> Kiefer says, how much for all your shoes and socks? Well, thank you for the donation, by the way, Kiefer. Yes, the super chat's open down below if anyone wants to kick anything in. Um, but, uh, no, for all my shoes and socks, man, the shipping would be quite a lot. I have a lot of shoes. I used to be sponsored by Keen, and I have, I bet I have about a dozen pairs of Keens. So, um, just the shipping costs would be quite, a, quite heavy. Socks, you can get a lot of singles. I've got my, I love my little dog. The only thing she does is if you leave a pair of socks on the floor, they're gone by morning, and I'd never know where the hell she took them to. I still don't. I don't know where she takes them. 
someday we're going to move out of this house and find some hidden thing full of socks, some hole in the wall or something. Oh, yeah, you can't get a discount on shipping. Yeah, if you bought all my shoes and socks, you'd wind up with 12 pairs of Keens. I'm not kidding. I think it's probably 12. Uh, don't kill me, but who's Keen? Google Keen. It's, it's that you just, you spelled it right. They make great shoes. Uh, Oregon-based place. They do really awesome sandals, and uh, the hiking boots are fantastic. And, yeah, I wear, I still wear nothing but Keens. They, even though I don't get them for free anymore, I still wear them all the time. Got a pair on right now, actually. What do I have on right now? I don't even know which ones they are. Got, yeah. I got my uh, Targi 2 Lows. So yeah, that's those are Keens. You wear shoes in the house? Yes, I do, because my feet hurt all the time, Matt. That's why I do, because uh, I have broken both feet before so it's uh my feet feel a lot better when i'm wearing boots so i usually wear shoes and boots almost all the time i can't walk around barefoot if i walk around barefoot it's uh, it hurts <laughs> Matt he says show us the broken foot it doesn't look broken it looks fine it's just they get sore uh do they make composite toe wear boots i have no idea i've never had a reason to look for them so Keena says you just broke your thumb damn how'd you do that dad shoes <laughs> no bs they look like my dad's shoes they do kind of but you know what they're comfortable so i have some cool looking ones too um i actually was wearing a pair of my keens the other day i have a pair of like the i don't remember what they're called something other exos and unique exos and um i actually was told by a a millennial said nice kicks i was quite i was quite proud of myself and he wasn't being ironic he actually was serious he really liked them but no, the Targi series are just great. Uh, these are the vents too, so um, they uh, they breathe well and everything. I actually did a video a while ago about like my EDC, and I showed those boots, and you guys asked more questions about my boots than you did about the anything else in the video. I actually got emails asking about how I liked them and stuff. I didn't break anything, but I did fall through the attic ladder yesterday. Damn. Someone dropped a hundred pound bar on my head at work and you caught it with your thumb. Jesus. That doesn't sound fun at all. I hate breaking fingers. Because you forget and then you bend your hand and it hurts all over again. You know what? We're going to do something fun here. Let's do something fun. Um... We only have a few minutes left. We'll go a little over tonight. So, um, uh, I just got, so I, I have a website, right, that for bicycle stuff, and people can buy memberships and things, and somebody just bought a membership that's $30. So, uh, go on Amazon right now and send me links to $30 Amazon knives I should get. I'm going to go buy a knife on Amazon for 30 bucks. So just go, just post stuff. It'll be fun. Since, uh, just to kind of wrap this up, you've got like 10 or 15 minutes. Um, I don't have any foot jokes. How's the keen knife? The keen knife is great. It's just as good as the, just as good as the shoes. Does that sound like a commercial enough for you? No, I, I said earlier it's one of my favorites that they ever did, so it's it's a uh, it's pretty darn great. Uh, I already have a standard honey badger. I could get another QB. That's not a bad idea. Cold steel bush ranger light. Said, oh, they're right at thirty. That's not a bad idea. I got a tanger. I had a tanger vector. Um. Let me 
Uris. Oh, that's that QB, yeah. I know that's one everybody ra raves about all the time. Z Hunter Neon Purple. Did they make a Neon Purple Z Hunter? Why do I not have one of those, and why did I not know? I just got a new bird. I've got a couple of new birds, so I don't really want to do another bird. Kershaw Select Fire 1920. I don't know what that is. Um, Link, I've already done a lot with those. A nice King and Kershaw yard sale. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, Keen's a great knife. Happy belated knife day, everybody. Yes, yeah, that was that was fun. I had a good time. I hung out in the, the live streams of SMKW a fair bit. And do you still have the Kershaw Copper Natrix? Nope. Uh, the new owner should should have it by now. I sold it a while ago. I just didn't carry it. It's cool. A great idea. And it's it's really cool. But as it is with a lot of copper handle knives, it was just too too heavy for the size that it was in the end, and I just didn't carry them. And and my hands don't sweat, so it didn't patina much, and it didn't look as cool as everybody else's did. Thank you, Taz's World, for coming in and telling me to drink. I appreciate that. Well, I know that, Fifth Arch, but that this is this is a fun little game. It's a fun little game. Because it just happened. It's a spontaneous game. Kershaw Grid. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to go back and look at these. I'm going to go back on Amazon later and have a look-see. Um, you didn't feel cool because your hands don't sweat. Yeah, they just don't at all. Not a bit. Not a bit. It's uh, it's weird. It's a family thing. Like uh, one of my kids too. Same thing. My uh, my my daughter. Same thing. She doesn't. Her hands don't sweat at all. My sons do, but I don't know what's up with that. Patreon goal to carry the dollar the the Dalica for a week. I think I said 50. I think I'm at 30 right now or something like that. Somebody asked me that. Maybe it was you asked me that in the uh, AMA's questions. By the way, great questions, guys. And everybody was really cool and respectful. I didn't have anybody who I was mad at, so that's awesome. Um, but 50. If I get 50, 50 Patreon subscribers, I will carry the Dalica only and only the Dalica for an entire week. Am I allowed to sharpen it, though? It, I, am I allowed to sharpen it, or do I have to carry it with the stock edge? I can say it still has the stock edge on it, because it's never cut anything, because it's not capable of it. Okay, I can sharpen it. All right, if I'm allowed to sharpen it, I'm not even going to tackle the, uh, the uh, serrated part, but I'll sharpen the straight edge. And then it'll, we'll see. I just want to, I want to know if the, it's right here actually. I want to know if the pocket clip holds up. I don't, I want to know how many days of the seven days the pocket clip lasts. Oh, the damn thing, whole damn thing serrated. I forgot. I thought it was half and half. God damn it. What have I gotten myself into? It's a ceramic, or ceramic, yeah, serrated chisel grind. That'll be interesting to sharpen. See, no bevel at all on the other side. Yeah, but this pocket clip, I'm guessing two of the seven days. It is not the best knife ever, ever, Keith. Even though you sent it to me as a lovely gift or curse, I don't know what you're going to call it. But it's a, no, it's a piece of junk. Yeah, one bump at the coffee shop and it's gone. Yeah, I don't even know if I'll be able to manage to keep track of it for a week because I just um, I just can imagine that pocket clip breaking and it just flying out of my pocket. I mean, not even noticing because it is really nice. I mean, it really light. I mean, not nice. Jesus Christ, it is very light. So I could just see it just flying out of my pocket. I mean, not even noticing that it's gone.
put a lanyard on it. <laughs> that would, that would like increase the value of the knife by 10 times if I did that. The Tuya Envy. The Tuya Envy is a very, very nice knife. I had one and I should not have sold it. It was a very, very good knife. The action on it was just fantastic. <clears throat> uh, Sierra Cate Pilar. I've done a lot with the Pilar already. I'm going to go back and look through your suggestion to you. I'm going to go on Amazon and shop tonight and figure something out while I'm waiting for uh, John Oliver to come on. Uh, Kershaw Weston. See, I don't know a lot about the really budget Kershaws. And you guys like seeing videos about them. Maybe I'll just look and see what the newest budget Kershaws are and grab one of those. Because you guys do watch those videos a whole lot. Sford Peasant. Ooh, that's a good suggestion. I've always wanted one of those. That's a very good suggestion. I've always wanted one. How many, how many videos ago? Oh, a long time ago. For the Envy. If that's what you're asking about. At most, I've got one. How much is the Shala? Oh, I need to get one of those. I think they're about... I, I It says 60 on... Yeah, I think they're about 60 bucks. I, I really need to get a Shala, though. I actually have to... Thank you for reminding me. I have to email Steel Will tomorrow and ask to get one of those to review. And if I get one to review, I'll pass it on to you guys for the giveaway. When I hit 10,000. I was going to email them. They always like donating stuff for giveaways anyway, so I was going to email them and ask for a couple things, and that was one I was going to ask for. Look up Kershaw Select Fire. You hit an LOL after that, so you're making me suspicious. Let me... Control C. Control V. Ha ha! It's a very inside joke there. Oh, it only comes... Oh, God, no. That select... That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. No, I don't want that. No. No, no, no. No. Go back to look at your comments. Steel will pasta to keep it for me? No, I, I already sold it, actually. I, just, I didn't... It's, it's, it's a great knife. I'm just not into stuff that tactical, so... But, uh... Really, really well done. They do a really good job, but no, that one's already gone. Um, that was one I knew I was just getting to review. I, I never had any intention of uh, of keeping that one. Wait, hold the phone. What about an M-Tech? I actually have a... My smoke shop sells M-Techs and all kinds of stuff, and I do look every week trying to find something um, that's truly terrible. But, it, you know, Shabazz has such a... It's his thing, doing the... Uh, terrible knife reviews and and birdshot does it too i don't want to be doing the same thing everybody else is doing his and his terrible knife reviews are very 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 funny i know what the decimus is are they that cheap i thought they were a bit more than 30 bucks <laughs> yeah, oh, Scott Simmons says the Dalek is so nice. It needs a sweet leather lanyard with a $100 Mokutai bead. I know your love for Mokutai. Yeah, that would I'd throw it in a river. I don't think I'd be able to carry that. Yeah, I can practice sharpening on it. Yep. Yeah, this would be really awesome to sharpen. Like I said, it's a serrated chisel grind. But also a saber grind. It's, a, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. I would be afraid to put this in my sharpening system because I think I'd break it. I think I would just do it with the, the rods. Oh, no. I must end it all. No, nope. can't. Can't do it. <clears throat> yes, <laughs> serrated chisel grind. Now he's cussing because I said to sharpen it. Yeah. You have to regrind it on a work. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I don't have a work sharp. I should, but my buddy does. But I mean, again, I'm afraid I'd break it. I think if I put it on, an, <laughs> I honestly feel like if you could feel how, how terrifyingly flimsy this is, I think it would break. I don't think it would. It would withstand it. Can you remove the thumb studs on the dollar? Oh, I'm sure. Just with. I could probably do it with my fingers. 
I'm sure they just snap right off, but I have to preserve it. I just have to preserve it. It's such a collector's item. Um, it would stab you if you use it. I don't know. I don't know if it would stab me. I think it would just disintegrate in my hand. It would just Thanos and fall apart in my hand. I think if I tried to cut anything with it, it would just say, I don't feel so good, Mr. Ball, and it would just fall apart in ashes. No, I'm good, Keith. I know where to get another one if I need it. You don't need to. I wish I had the video editing skills to do that, to, to, to Thanos this knife. That would be really funny. Go, Will. Is that a, another Amazon suggestion? I, I missed that. Can you please mail me the sky high? No, Matt, I cannot. Send it to Apostle P. First three buyers gets priority, blah, blah. <laughs> Are you smoking a jewel? No, sort of. It's a smock Nord. Or smoke. I don't know how they pronounce it. I do have one that takes jewel pods, but that's not what I'm using. CRKT Terrestrial. I'm going to have to go back through these later because it's... I don't have my key, my keyboards off to my side right now because I have knives out in where my keyboard would normally be. Control-C, Control-V. Aha! Everything comes up Amazon. That's funny. No, it's not actually a bad looking knife. That's fifty two bucks though. Not gonna spend that much. It's not that it defeats the purpose of the little game. Yeah, I don't do San Ramos. They still do copies. Uh what Scott Simmons, what happened to the lost vape? Uh that's a very good question. I don't I don't know. It's in my house somewhere. I grabbed this one was running low on battery, and I, I kind of alternate between them, and I grabbed the Lost Vape 2, and went to go leave the house. I realized I didn't need both of them, and I sent, set the Lost Vape down somewhere, and I have, I have no clue. It's somewhere. The CRKT Squid. I kind of want something newer, I think. Mikey, I think it would just be, you know, I'm always one new stuff, so... I've never had a squid, though. I probably should, but I've just never had one. I don't know if anybody would watch a video, another, yet another video on the CRKT squid. Um, using an Inokin EQ. Inokin makes good stuff. I don't remember ones I've had, but I have some Inokin stuff somewhere. Yes, it's now a double lost vape. Damn, Mordax just teased me. You're sitting for the... Wait, can't wait for the next drop. Like I said, keep an eye out. They... Once drops are over, often they sell a few. Afterwards, they have some left over. So. I don't know exactly what you're referring to, Danny T. Uh, uh, I, I broke the tip from a Ganzo and the tip fly to the blade because it was my ma magnetic. This is not 440C. Eh, wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised. Is that a 2 knife on the left? I don't know which. No. My left is a Ferrum Forge Gent, and the other side is a Master Op Keen, so... No, there are no two knives on here. Um, yes, I will hydrate again. Thank you. Oh, no, Triple EDC. If you've seen them next to each other, I've had the talisman. Also, no, they don't. They don't look anything alike in person, at all. For one thing, the talisman's about twice that size. Talisman's not twice, but it's, it's much, much larger. 
actually gave a talisman to my kind of sort of boss. <clears throat> Whatever happened to booze and blades? I just have, I keep not keeping track of what the last Sunday of the month is. And I did not realize until earlier this afternoon that uh, it was last Sunday of the month and my the liquor store closest to my house was closed. I was actually going to go do that, but uh, it's not. Um, did you pick up uh, purple for the SD open aisle for any specific reason? Um, no, I just was moving stuff around. But no, you're going to see more of these on the channel. Like I said, I'm getting a couple to give away. And they come with little leather lanyards, too. I took mine off. But um, uh, I'm going to give a couple of these away for the 10,000 sub giveaway. And I think I'm going to start selling these. So it'll probably be the only knife that I sell on my store whenever that gets open. But I like it. Liquor stores close in New York. Yes, uh, on Sundays they close at 6. So, they're only open noon to 6 on Sundays. Um, any thoughts on the Fair and Forge Lackey? I think I saw it on Instagram. I know they've been showing a new one that I like a lot, but I don't remember the name of it. Yeah, Zach, I think people would buy them. And, they're, and the purple ones are pretty rare, so I just... Yeah, it's a number seven. That's my favorite size. So that's the one I would sell because it's my favorite size. So I think it's the best size of them. Most people are into uh, into number eights, but I really like the I really like the number seven. It's always part of it's because my grandpa always carried a number seven. Um, I remember that as a kid, but uh, I like the seven. And. And the purple is just a normal open L color. You can get the purple, but it just would have my logo on it. From Amplify EDC did this, by the way. They are awesome. And they did these, too. These aren't going to stay. Uh, they look cool, but they're not going to stay. This was just like, hey, look what we can do. And they just I did not know these were coming. I knew they were sending me a couple of these, but I did not know they were sending me uh, one of those. So I gave one to my wife. She has one with a gray logo, which that's not what I would do. I would do the white one because the gray didn't didn't stick as well. Um, and the white matches the other side. So they'll look like this one, the purple and white. But yeah, I'm gonna I I gotta talk to them and figure out how that would uh how that would go. Yeah, a wood one with the handle with the logo burned into it would look cool. Um, I want an open L just to stick it in a jar of mustard. I did, I didn't do mustard. How did I do mine? Where is it? Oh, it's out of reach. I did one on the carbon steel blade one with, um, uh, I put it in, no, this is the Inox. Um, I did one in, uh, vinegar. And it looked, it came out pretty cool. That's, I have another number six that's just the regular, well, it's not the regular wood, it's some specific fancy wood with the, and I intentionally, uh, patinaed it. Does your wife carry, and if so, what? No, she doesn't. She works with kids. She's not allowed to. Um, not sure she would anyway, but she's got one of these that she keeps in her little craft drawer, and then we use open L's in the kitchen and stuff, so uh, she loves open L stuff. Inox is like 12C27 or something, right? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, Junior V. I, I believe you're correct on that, so. Um... And, uh, yeah, the CF, yeah, exactly, Adam. M. These these look cool. It's awesome. I'll, I'll slap them on for... What's nice is if I want to slap them on for videos, it's just two T-stick screws, and I just throw them on there. Um, but I'm going to go back to the carbon to actually carry this. Um, I just I just like the, the carbon's just so nice. Salt and beer is a cool way to patina stuff. I've never heard of that one. I've never heard of that one. I'll have to take a look at that. I like salt, and I like beer, and I like knives, so why not combine all those things? Danny T. Wow, concealed carry and use and lose the slicey dicey logo? What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. Danny, sorry, I probably missed something that you said earlier. Um, well, I think it's probably about time to start wrapping this up. Um, yeah, if you like the spider monkey, tell all your friends to subscribe. Once we hit 10,000, you can win this. What else do we have here? You can win this. I'm going to give away a couple of these. So 
and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of other stuff. So when I hit 10,000 subs, let's uh, let's get this going. I want to get to 10,000. I've been chasing that dragon for a lot of time, and I want to get to 10,000. So I'm going to be pretty obnoxious about it uh, over the next... God, I hope it doesn't take more than a month. <laughs> but uh, uh, give away the McKenna. Yeah, it's That's not impossible. Probably not, though. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to order more stickers this week and everything with lots of stuff. So, uh, where did you get the spider monkey with your name on? Or the open L with the name on? It's uh, from um, Amplify EDC. I did a video about it if you go back there. So, yeah. Smash that like button. Blah, 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 blah. I hate saying all that stuff. I'm so bad at it. I'm 44. It hurts my soul to say stuff like that. But, yeah. Subscribe. Smash that like button. All that stuff. It gets me promoted. It helps out the channel, blah, 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 blah. I just want to hit 10,000 because it gives me more permissions on YouTube. I'm allowed to do more stuff. And there will be more things you can buy and things like that. And it will be awesome. So uh, just trust me, 10,000 subs means a lot to me. Not just because it's a huge milestone, but because it gives me more more permissions. They give you more more buttons you can push and do all kinds of stuff. So, all right. Uh now, speaking of being old, I'm going to uh, probably sit here and try to stay awake long enough to watch John Oliver. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Had a really good time tonight. Have a good one, everybody. Good night.